so good. Vanilla peach jam. I went to the grocery store a couple days ago. She's just a little odd. Like, she said she liked cherry as a girl's middle. This influencer has set the internet on fire with criticism of her and her lifestyle. And her big offense is that she's a trad wife who takes care of her husband and kids and does it all while being hot. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, big shout out to everybody who's become a patron so far on my Patreon. We don't like having host red ads on this platform and the reason we're able to keep them off is because of our patrons. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for doing what you do. Now let's talk about Nara Smith and her setting the internet on fire with her lifestyle. The girl is everywhere these days and we're gonna talk about why in just a second, but really for some background on her, she is a very successful model who is married to another very successful model by the name of Lucky Blue Smith. Together they raise three children, I believe, and she documents her life on the internet. She's very popular for her cooking videos where she shows what she makes for her toddlers, her husband, and herself. And she does so whilst looking very beautiful in virtually every single video she posts. Now, you would think that Nara Smith's content would be pretty innocuous. There doesn't seem to be much of a reason why she should be receiving so much criticism on the internet, but we're gonna get into that right now. Her name is everywhere and from all different angles, people are are deciding to criticize this young woman. Many black people and black women in particular are criticizing Nara for having married a Mormon man and seemingly practicing Mormonism as she references in her videos that many times when she wakes up in the morning, she decides to read scripture. Their belief is that Mormonism is an inherently racist religion and that she should not be married to a white guy who practices said religion, even though he's a white man that has chosen to marry a black woman and have her biracial children. So make that make sense? Others are criticizing Nara, saying she's not smart enough that she gives off lobotomy vibes. Here's the TikTok about that. It's been my new late night snack obsession. I don't know whether I'm late to this, whether people are doing this already or not. Others are saying that her lifestyle is unrealistic. How dare she film making food for her toddlers and husband while wearing such extravagant clothes and all in all looking beautiful during the process. I feel like the lifestyle and the outfits and how they dress and how they act and their aesthetic is coveted, but I don't think it's realistic at all. I honestly don't think she's putting her toddlers to bed in a sequin dress, you know? I don't think that they dress like that all the time. I literally think that they put on these types of clothes to do these videos. And she's just a little odd. Like, she said she liked Cherry as a girl's middle name. And she said her husband didn't like it. And it's like, well, duh, you give a cherry as your daughter's middle name. You've pretty much picked her career choices when she grows up. I mean, come on. Cherry, that sounds, you know what that sounds like. An exotic dancer's name. Like, they look like they come out of a catalog. And I just think that must be so tiresome. Like, there, it, props to them. A lot of work must go into it, you know? Y'all are lucky if I put makeup on for my videos. <laughs> and I guess if you needed more shallow reasons to dislike this woman, Nara Smith is also 22 years of age. So many are hopping on the internet saying, we should abduct Nara Smith and show her the real life of a 22 year old. She needs to be drinking alcohol, doing drugs and going to the club. I'm your Uber driver, get in. I didn't order an Uber. Now, as I said before, Nara is also very popular on the platforms that she posts on. So luckily there are many coming to her defense, but some of them are taking a very interesting angle. Their take on the situation is that the reason Nara is receiving such criticism for her lifestyle and what she chooses to do in a day in the life is because she is a black woman who has found success. And that this is in fact, a ton of white people who hate to see a successful, beautiful black woman marry a white man and lead a successful life as a mom and like maybe a little bit a little bit boring and people think that she's like a little bit stupid um but in a way that i really enjoy where people are kind of freaking out about her kids names and being like well what what are they going to do when they when they have to go go interview for it doesn't it doesn't matter when they interview for a job because they're actually extremely wealthy it does not matter i promise um but it's like are those things not just what white women do on this app every day so somehow both the criticism and the defense of this woman are misguided meanwhile while all of this is happening on the internet and everybody is putting this young woman's name in their mouth nara smith is baking cinnamon rolls for her husband to return home to but let's get down to the bottom of what's really happening here with nara smith and why she is the subject matter of so many videos on the internet. The reality is that people want to be Nara Smith. She is a 22 year 
year-old woman who is beautiful and married and is taking care of children and cooking amazing food and doing it all whilst working as a model. She is juggling and spinning plates at the same time and people can't stand to see her do it and do it successfully. Her lifestyle flies in the face of this modern day feminist narrative that people are subscribing themselves to and young women in particular. Nara is 22 years of age and she's not obliterating her body with alcohol, heading to the club every weekend, hooking up with random guys or on her way to starting an OnlyFans. She's not using her 20s to find herself or engage with this feminist utopian view of independence or dating a thousand guys with no real vision for the future. In fact, people I think are pissed that Nara Smith seems to have already found herself, that she's grounded herself in a set of values that are specific to her and what she wants out of life and that she is in fact exercising her independence through the lifestyle of being married and having children. I think jealousy and envy is really what's at the heart of all this criticism that she's receiving. In fact, I don't think it has very much at all to do with her race and her being a black woman because we see this very same criticism levied to white women who choose a similar lifestyle. And we actually have a piece of controversy to point to from another influencer to really support this point. Hannah of Ballerina Farm is also an influencer who documents her life as a wife and mother in a Mormon family. Now, Hannah landed herself in hot water recently because she posted a video of her getting ready for the Miss World pageant that was taking place in Las Vegas this January. She was getting ready for that because she was crowned Miss America last year. Now, why is this controversial? Why are people hating? It's because Hannah had a baby 12 days prior to getting ready for this Miss World pageant and still managed to make it there. People were saying that this is an unrealistic depiction of postpartum motherhood, that how dare she showcase something like this and set an example for other mothers who may not have the same bounce back effect that she did. Does that criticism make sense to you? Or does it again sound like jealousy and envy? Of course we know not all mothers will be able to do that, but why are you upset at the mother who can? And we can use that very same analysis when looking through the hate comments and hate videos that are directed towards one Nara Smith. Not only is she turning the feminist narrative on its head, but she's also beautiful and she's also happy and she's also successful and she's managed to find success in the realm of influencing, which is the dream of many young women these days. And for some reason, this is breaking people's brains, yet she's the one that has the lobotomy? By every important indicator that I have, it seems like Nara Smith has her life together. And I think what feminists need to really grapple with is the fact that if you are going to subscribe yourself to feminism, that involves all women having the right to choose their life and their path. And sometimes that's going to include the path of being married. That's going to include the path of motherhood. It's going to include the path of cooking and cleaning. And somehow Nara Smith is managing to do all that while also living what some would believe to be a feminist dream of modeling and being an influencer. And if you spend half the time working on your own life and your own path as you do criticizing Nara Smith, you'd probably be in a more successful place in life. Because I can guarantee you, she is not sitting at home, scrolling on TikTok, listening to your videos where you talk about the fact that you hate that she's Mormon, or you hate that she's so put together, or you hate the food she makes for her husband. I'm pretty sure she's just living her life. And if it's the life you don't want, then don't watch the content and don't try to emulate it. And if it's the life that you do want and that's somehow leading you down the path of jealousy or envy, we should turn that energy into inspiration. Make it something to aspire to. That's certainly what I feel like when I watch Nara's videos. I'm like, damn, I wish I could make a PB&J from scratch or go and make some cinerals at the drop of a hat for my husband and kids. And maybe one day I will have exactly that. That's where I'm going to spend my time and energy working towards those goals, not dragging down somebody who's already achieved them. All this to say, oftentimes those receiving the most hate or the most criticism are the ones who are achieving things that others can't. And that seems to be what's coming to play here with Nara Smith and her life. So if you find yourself being critical of her lifestyle and her choices, you might want to take a deep look inward and ask yourself why that is and whether or not it's even worth it. And with that, I would love to hear your thoughts on this controversy. Drop them in the comments down below. As always, if you disagree with me, duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day, and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.